Let's see what I mean. What is going on, my brodies? It is Andrew Bude, T Production and Publishing, bringing you guys a new YouTube video. In this YouTube video, I'm gonna be reviewing um, Cthulhu. Not really reviewing. I'm not gonna give it necessarily a score, but I'm gonna go over it and explain some stuff on why I like it and why you guys might want to use it or should use it. Cthulhu is my personal favorite. Um, uh, melody or chord maker uh, mostly just because it comes with really good chords and there's a lot of uh, banks like uh, Cthulhu uh, banks you can buy out there uh, usually only around like you know t 10 to 20 dollars uh, where people create their own chords for Cthulhu and then you can use it it's actually made by Exver uh, record which is uh, I think that's how you say it, which is also the same company that made uh, Serum. So, in my opinion, Serum's a, one of the greatest synth wave, synth, uh, I mean, synth table, synth based uh, VSTs. So, you kind of know you're going to get a pretty good um, plugin from them. Uh, so, that being uh, Cthulhu's, once again, one of my personal favorites. So, when you pull up Cthulhu, this is kind of like what it does. It's on ARP, arpeggiator, and chords mode. And so it's just, this is the arpeggiator setting. So if I like change different stuff, I can change um, how the arpeggiator works, but I don't really use the arpeggiator. You see what I like the most is using it to make the chords. So I do have this um, piano pulled up on Keyscape. I'm gonna put the import to one. And I mean input to one. Go to Cthulhu. And I'm gonna turn off the sound right there because I don't like the sound that Cthulhu uh, gives us by default. Uh, so what I wanna do is do the output to one right there. So any, when we click in the notes for Cthulhu, it's gonna generate the chords that are assigned to those notes and then send those chords over to Omnisphere. Uh, so we actually don't have to type, I mean, we don't have to plug in those chords or anything. And we just go over to our chords uh, preset bank and we could do the icon uh, diatonic, which is like the standard uh, uh, scales and minor and major with their uh, relatives. So like the relative from A minor would be C major and vice versa. Uh, they also got classical and then I bought this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Uh, all these are extra banks. Um, I'm gonna personally use one of these extra banks, uh, but you guys could follow along with one of the Icon Diatonic ones. Uh, but that's just, I'm gonna pull up this one. Uh, I mean, this one has a lot more uh, all-star and uh, pop uh, EDM chords. So I'm gonna go here oh let's go like d minor vibes d minor i don't know what this is going to give us but and whenever we click a key it actually does it does highlight it so if we ever want to we could copy it over into omnisphere um let me see if there's i don't think there's you can imp import MIDI files um, let me see save the chord preset save preset mm. remove sort maybe we should
I'm just trying some different stuff. And then you guys could also transpose it. So uh, 12, me 12 points would be an active. So if we went negative 12, that'd be down one active. Going up 12 would be going up one active. But um, I'm just going to try this. And... Pull it up. Cut it. I'm gonna just insert some random uh, plugin. I like the profit. Maybe we can find a cool little lead. I'm just messing around right now, showing you guys what's possible uh, and how it can help you guys. Maybe with uh, creating melodies. I mean, I'm making this really quick with like very minimal effort. And the reason why I already knew these were right was I went into here, my helpers, scale highlighting D, Aeolian, that's D minor. And if you guys remember, our Cthulhu was D minor right there. Um, I might make my own Cthulhu pack eventually. I don't know. I've never made my own custom Cthulhu pack. I have so many different chord options that I could always use that just doesn't really make much of a, for me, I'm not, I'm not looking to go spend a whole lot of time making it when I still haven't used everything that it gives me. Um, so let's go to D minor, because that's what we need. <laughs> I mean, you guys can kind of see how I would go about to do this if I...
That's a pretty fire melody that I did really quick. Just starting with the Cthulhu chords, I routed it to the piano, then I routed it to the uh, Prophet 5, then in Prophet 5 I added some other little top notes to help, added that voice, then added the bells. I love Cthulhu. I use this to make a lot of beats, I'm not going to lie. But then I also sometimes would uh, bring those chords in within to my uh, piano roll by manually reading the chords and plopping them in, which is, you know, it's a tedious task. I wish if, if they had a MIDI export, it would be game over. I would literally only use Cthulhu. I would not rely on Scalar. I mean, I could actually use Cthulhu to then look for those chords in Scalar to then replicate it, then transfer out to MIDI. There's one solution. And for those of you guys that don't know what Scalar is, Scalar is the GOAT plugin. If you know the scales, if you do know a lot about music theory, because you can go through here and literally find infinite amount of scales, different types, different song styles. Um, they got some artists in here, uh, some community. I don't know what that is. Um, and you could save your own stuff. Uh, so, and then do detect, create. They got a lot of different options, but that's not what I'm wanting to go into right now. But Cthulhu, definitely the GOAT. Uh, I'm going to keep it this sim this simple because, I mean, I could be here all day going through different styles and different um, chord examples. But, I mean, that was just one. I mean, let's uh, let's do one more. I'm going to clone it real quick. It's already going to output one. So, I'm going to change it. Let's just do, like... Um, this. This is F sharp. There's another example, something really quick, um, but I'm going to wrap up this video. already used up a decent amount of time. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like Cthulhu? Do you guys think it's not good because it's it helps producers, it helps people create better music? Uh, I mean, the thing is, this type of technology is only going to get better. I mean, eventually there's not going to be... The job for us producers but for coders to code software that makes beats instead of you know producers in the studio making beats eventually i don't know when that would be but eventually but let me know what you guys think uh be sure to join the discord the discord is down in the description down below the link to that where uh, we all chat share stuff and then whenever i go on live stream i play uh your submissions in there um and I'll put the link for Cthulhu in the description down below. So if you guys want to go cop Cthulhu, the link will be there. This is Andrew, BDAT, and I'll see you guys later.